Hi, welcome to Troubadour's videos. Today we're going to check out the new hardware overclocking tool from EVGA called the EVBot. Here is EVGA's new hardware overclocking tool called the EVGA EVBot. Let's take this out of the box and see exactly what accessories come with this new hardware overclocking device. With the EVJ EV Bot, you will receive an installation CD, installation manual, and four accessory leads for hooking up a motherboard and up to three VGA graphics cards to this device. On the front of the EV Bot, you have your LCD display screen, your enter button, directional up and down button, as well as a cancel or backspace. On the bottom, we have four profile keys for saving your overclocking profiles onto this device. On the bottom of the EV bot, we have the ability to hook up a motherboard and up to three VGA graphics cards. On the top of the device, we have the power button and the reset button. Now on the back of the device here, we have a really nifty little stand, so you can pop this stand out, put this on your desktop and angle it better for you, so you can view this from your actual desk as you're conducting overclocks. The EV bot supports the following products. The EVJ X58 Classified 4-Way SLI Motherboard, EVJ's X58 Classified 3-Way SLI Motherboard, EVJ's P55 Classified Motherboard, P55 Following 200 Motherboard, and the P55 Following Motherboard. Now with the EVJ graphics cards, the only card currently supported is the GTX 285 Classified Graphics Card. Here is a brief listing of the voltages, clocks and hardware monitoring capabilities of this device whilst hooked up to the motherboard and the GPU. Connecting the EV bot to your motherboard depends on your exact motherboard configuration. Here you see the three-way SLI classified motherboard with the hookup point directly on the motherboard. With the four-way SLI motherboard you have the EV bot connection port on the back of the I.O. panel. Now taking the other end of your connection cable, simply hook this up to the motherboard port of your EV bot. Also the GTX 285 classified card, the classified GPU, has a dedicated port on the back of the graphics card itself. So let's fire up the test rig and check out the EV bot. When you initially power up the EV bot, you'll notice that the firmware flash on this device is for the EVJ X58 classified motherboard. If you own a P55 motherboard, you will have to log on to the EVJ website and download the latest firmware version for this particular device. But as always, it's a good idea to log on to that website and download the most recent version firmware, regardless of having the X58 or P55 motherboards. Flashing the firmware on your EV bot is a relatively simple operation. With your EV bot hooked up to your motherboard, hold in the on off button for approximately 7 seconds or until the flash mode indicator flashes on the front LCD. The EV bot firmware upgrade package from EVGA comes with both a P55 and X58 firmware flashes. Simply click on the option you wish to update, then click OK to start the firmware flash. This process can take several minutes, however it will give you an indication when the process has finished, so simply unplug the EV bot, then reconnect it, and you're good to go. With the EV bot reconnected to the motherboard, let's check out the motherboard settings. These are all the voltage settings that we're able to adjust at any point in time during the benchmark on the fly. Now click the back or cancel button, let's check out the clock settings again that we can adjust at any point in time including horse frequency, PCI Express, clock skew and amplitude. Here's a nice little function, this is the opt booster, this gives us 10 levels of boost for our CPU. We can implement this at any point in time as well as a custom option. Let's have a look at the level 10 uh, CPU boost option and see exactly what performance that can kick out during an advantage benchmark. 
While using the op booster, you do need to be careful. As you can see here, we're starting off at 190 MHz on the bus speed. Level 10 will give us a 4 MHz purge, as you just saw there, on the bus speed. Taking our CPU to 484, now we'll back off 3 to 191, and we should increase another 4 to 195 shortly. There you go there. Now, this is a continuous cycle of backing off 3 and adding 4 until either you blue screen, either you complete your benchmark, or your system bursts into flames. When you need to end the optimization booster, simply click the cancel button. This will take you back to the main menu. And let's have a look at the hardware monitor functionality of this particular piece of equipment. The EVBot comes with a full monitor should you wish to monitor your temperatures, frequencies, and voltages during a benchmark. Now be mindful in order to activate this functionality you will need to run the latest version of EVJ's EV Elite software on your PC. Simply click on the options tabs and put a check in the box for the Paul hardware monitor to EV bot support box. This will activate the functionality for the EV bot. EVJ's EVBot is a user-friendly and simple method of overclocking or optimizing EVJ-compatible devices. Overclocking and on-the-fly adjustments were simple and glitch-free. However, overclocking is never easy and EVJ once again provides the tools and support to push all your hardware to its limits. EVJ's EVBot is 100% Troubadour approved. Thanks again for watching Troubadour's videos, I hope this video helped you, and as always feel free to subscribe if you wish to stay up to date with the latest and greatest in gaming and PC hardware.